morning, everyone, and welcome back to Jordan Valley Ice Park and Springfield Spirit Varsity Hockey. We are getting set for game number two on the weekend. Spirit taking on the Northwest Arkansas Ice Hogs, and Spirit had a hard fought. 6-2 victory yesterday as uh, it was close for two periods. 3-2 after two and uh, Spirit able to open things up in the third and skate away with a 6-2 victory. They'll look to make it a sweep on the weekend. Kurt Busson coming your way along with Kelly Carden settling into the booth. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Kurt. Glad to finally make it. As always, being fashionably late to the booth. I don't know expect how nothing less. Unprofessionalism. Expect <laughs> nothing. No, I'm not unprofessional <laughs> at all. It's just the way you roll, and uh, I dig it. Scott Lusky along with you here to bring you the action from his computer, and Brad Allen is on actually the on the uh, camera today. I think is Nick here today as well. Nick here on the camera. Or is that Brad? Yeah, he's on his way. Nick Lusky will be here as well. Had a chance to go down to the hallway outside the locker room and give some of the boys some words of encouragement and. Uh, Found myself down there. Uh, it hadn't been down in that in that space in a long time, so it kind of brought back some memories. Fun to watch him go out down the hallway. The sights, the sounds, yep, the smells. smells. Yeah, but uh, you know, it was it was fun to watch him coming out. Uh, you know, hooting and hollering and, and yelling at each other, and uh, they they seem in good spirits. And you know, looking at them skating on the ice here, they they look like they've got their minds right. Uh, coming off of that big win, you always kind of worry about that uh, that letdown period afterwards. But you know, if if those things are any indication how they're skating and how they're talking and and yelling, hopefully we're in a good place. Good to hear. And Spirit in their CSDP alternate third jerseys for this one. Arkansas in their whites. Looks like our refereeing crew is a bit different uh, this morning. Mark Marzola wearing the stripes will be calling the uh, penalties out there. And Mike Hartman on the uh, one line. And Brian, what's his last name? Brian Wilson. Wilson, Wilson. on the uh, yep. other. Epic uh, mustache working there on Mr. Yep. Wilson. Yes, he does. He's, uh, he's a firefighter up in Lebanon. So I'd say that's job related. <laughs> we will take a look at the standings as we're getting set for this one. As we can see the uh, point totals there, the stars out of Kansas City on top of the standings uh, by virtue of points, but and the Spirit sitting in third place there. But since everyone's played a different amount of games, league has decided to go by win percentage this year. And if we look at the win percentage, you'll see the Spirit climb all the way to the top there with that single loss on the season, coming in 11-1 and three with an 83.3 three winning percentage as they will top the stars who are coming in 76.32 so spirit with a chance to earn the number one overall seed with a win today and a couple more wins next weekend and we'll keep our tabs on that see what the uh, results are from other action and have that for you next weekend Buzzer sounds on the warm-up session here. Teams will gather the pucks and get set for action here. <laughs> as we'll see Kale Parker in the net on the second half of this weekend series. Zane Lusky with a strong performance yesterday on senior day. Kale, another senior on the uh, yeah. on the weekend. Yep. And uh, a, a cycle of seniors here uh, between the pipes. It is senior uh, recognition weekend here. We had a nice ceremony before the game yesterday. And congrats to all of our seniors. Congrats to Houston Brackett for winning the Skibby Award. Also uh, recognized uh, Tyler Kane and Andrew Johnson and Calvin Wheeler, our senior varsity varsity seniors on the weekend. Spirit huddled around their net as is customary before action. And we'll have some pregame introductions here. We'll throw it down to Dane Lovin who is back in action today. Good to see him back at the helm. And we will go down to him for pregame introductions.
What's up, Brooks? How you doing, man? Another rockin' in rendition of the uh, national anthem. This one uh, via the computer. Yesterday we had a great uh, live performance from a local uh, student. Yeah, he did a good job. He did a really good job. So. And just about set for action here. Another good crowd on hand to witness this one. as referee Mark Marzola is at center ice, ready to drop a puck. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> Captain Zahn Warner skates to the face off dot, adjusting his helmet. And we are set for action and underway here in Springfield as immediately off the draw, it's one back for Brady Allen. And he will dump it in the hog zone. I thought maybe he was gonna take another look, shot from that point. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Red hot Brady Allen with two goals yesterday. And we'll see if he can keep his uh, hot streak alive. Now dump back in by the hogs into the spirit zone. And first on the puck, the hogs as they'll circle with it. Send it back to the point. Shot is blocked by Brady Allen. And fans on the clearing effort, stolen away by the Hogs. Good job by Brady to get a stick on that centering pass. Sends it to the boards and still battling for it in the corner. As uh, so he'll send the puck forward. Spirit able to get it to the blue line now out as back they come. Oh, Cross nice pass, pass by Rob. Johnson. Just out of the reach by, of Gage Rob, and he's able to move the puck forward into the zone. Takes a big hit, goes down, and the Hogs will take it over. Send it back to center ice. And stolen away by Calvin Wheeler. He'll gain the red line and dump it in. Goes for a line change early here in this first period. Ganniger now on the ice for the Spirit as he'll chase it down in the corner. Nickel on the puck, looks to center it. And goes off a skate into the far corner. 
Now played back to the point and stolen away by the Hogs as they'll bring it the other way. And that headman pass doesn't connect into the near corner as Daniger and Kallenberger will battle for it. Now Gabe will send it up the far boards for Skabinski. And Skabinski will try the other way with it as pressure on from the Hogs. Scrum along the near boards now as Nick Lowe will push it back to center ice. Taken there by the Hogs and cross ice pass over the stick of the Hogs player. Good and job by Eric Life there playing the wall. Eric continues to move the puck forward into the zone now and clearing effort hits the linesman, stays in the zone. And now held in once again by Eric Life. He'll dump it in the corner. Goes for a line change. Good shift by Eric there. Loose puck picked up by Nicholas Lowe. As he'll drop it down to Kallenberger. And it's taken away from him. Worth. Wyatt Worth will skate over to it and pick it up. Now Worth on his backhand. Fights off a check and he's pinched to the boards. Stolen away by the Hogs and they'll carry it to center ice. Dumped back in by Bussin. And hustling to it is Tyler Kane in the corner. And he can't catch up to it. Continues to battle for it, but it's taken away by Arkansas. As they'll come up the near uh, the far boards with it. Can't clear it. Held in at the point. Now centering pass over the stick of Worth. Held in at the point by Brown. And now still loose. Uh, it's now back to the point for John Brown. His shot is blocked at the defense. Now below the net, Lovin. Back for Worth as Wyatt will circle with it. Looks for a passing opportunity. Drops it off for John Brown. And he'll dump it around the boards. Now in the far corner. Loose puck picked up by the Hogs. They'll carry it back to center ice. And a good poke check there by Houston Brackett. Now dumped in by the Hogs. No icing. Seems like that could have been icing. Very but, close. Uh, but we play on. As back come the Spirit. Backhanded in by Lovin as now they'll go for a line change. And Wyatt Shimp will pick up a puck, puts it in on a delayed call. It goes yep, on, net, on net, so they'll blow the whistle on that one. And we get our first whistle of the game, I believe, here as we yeah. have some uh, nonstop action there. Heavy, uh, heavy activity by the Ice Hogs. They definitely came out with a lot of spirit and a lot of movement, so they're definitely not gonna go quietly in this game, which gonna probably mean that we're gonna have a good game today. Now back to the point, as Hogs have it on the left side, carried in front, shot on goal, and a save by Parker, his Nets first off. save of the game. And we get a stoppage for Net. One job, Poppets Post, one job. <laughs> and a good scoring opportunity there for the Hogs, and Kale Parker solid for the Spirit with the pad save. Now off the draw, puck to the boards and held in at the point. Spirit will take over there and backhanded to center ice by Major Carden. Loose puck is picked up by Gunnar Beaver. As tries to circle at his own blue line, but it's stolen away from him and sent into the Spirit zone. Bouncer is settled by the Hogs, shot from a bad angle, and I believe Parker got a glove on that. Still in the zone, now behind the net, as centering effort hits a skate. Wheeler there for the Spirit is able to avoid a Hogs player and push it up the near boards. And now Calvin still battling for it, sends it to center ice. Dumped back in by the Hogs on a delayed offside as they will tag up and re-enter the zone. Now Shemp, hard off the boards and able to clear the zone. Back come the Spirit. Carden down the left side. He's got Rob in front. Carden circling, looks for a pass, oh. and his pass to the point is intercepted, and back come the Hogs the other way. Into the Spirit zone, down the left side, the shot from the left side, and a good save there by Parker on a nice backhander with some, uh, some pace, as yeah. they say in yeah. soccer. And Good job by D-man Eric Life to push him out wide, so that's a bad angle shot. Parker Strong on the post there. And another face off here with the Zahn Warner line back on the ice. Gage Robb and Andrew Johnson. Now sent forward, Zahn has got a bit of a break here. Down the, left, the right side, he's got a man in front. Over for Johnson. Oh, and he can't settle it. 
Nice thought there as Warner able to pick up the man in front, but just couldn't quite connect on that pass. Great job by Warner hitting the brakes there and being aware of the trailer. Now behind the net as Gage Robb is uh, dispossessed of that puck and sent all the way down the ice. I got all the soccer uh, terminology working this morning. <laughs> now Here back comes Don, down the left side. From a bad angle shot, and it goes wide. He's taken down on the play. We're gonna get our first penalty of the game. And it's gonna go against the Hogs as referee Mark Marzola indicates tripping. And the Spirit will go to the power play. 9.13 to go here in this first period, no score. As we take a look at the instant replay there. Nice hustle play there by Zahn, forcing the Hog player to take him down. And Zahn will skate right back to the ice at his normal position on the power play, the point. As power play unit number one on the ice for the Spirit. As Gail Parker shooting for his assist total. He's there. gonna get one in one of these times, isn't he? Now Worth with the puck, weaves it into the zone, still on the puck, and a loose puck oh. shot on the backhand from Kane just wide. Now back to the point, Warner winds it up. Blocker save as the goaltender has lost his stick. Now back for Warner once again, sends it down low for Worth, now in front. Kane, he can't bury it, still loose in front. Back to the point for John Brown. cross ice pass for Warner, still no stick for the goaltender. As Kane sends it in, uh, sorry, Worth sends it in front. Great, and now we get a stoppage. There in front of the net. Uh, boys doing a great job of, of looking for those opportunities. Uh, just couldn't settle it enough. Goaltender lost his helmet on that play, which is why the whistle blew, I think. I'm not sure if that was uh, uh, self, self dislodged because he didn't have a stick or or if he got some help there from someone else, but he's got both his helmet and his stick back, and we've got a whistle and a face-off in the hog zone. One back to the point for Daniger, winds it up. It gets partially blocked, and now a puck to the near wall. Johnson looks to center it. He's got help from Gage Robb in the corner, and now Carden over there doing battle as well. Physical play picking up there. And now centering pass is deflected wide. Bouncer held in by Brady Allen at the moment. Now back for Carden, who had taken his spot on the blue line. Over for Daniger. His shot sails well wide. Now centered in front. Oh, and oh. shot in the crease. <laughs> and My goodness. Save was made as they weren't able to get good wood on that one. We're just gonna have to give the goalie some real credit there for moving around. The, the boys are moving the puck quite a bit and uh, he's just managing to fling himself around on those. You see so. this Gage Rob there with the uh, effort in front on the backhand and just unable to trickle that one through. 31 seconds on the penalty to the Hogs as Spirit won the draw once again, doing a nice job so far on the faceoffs. Now from the side, shot comes and the save was made. And into the netting behind the net, off the goaltender, so we'll stay in the zone. As Tyler Kane will take this draw once again. Hey. 23 to go in the penalty. As off the draw, it's picked up by Worth. Wyatt will skate it down low behind the net. And now back to the point for Werner. He's on, back in the corner for Worth. Skates it in front, still on a stick. And now checked away at the last minute. But whistle blows again and we're gonna have another penalty and it's gonna go against the Hogs yet again. As with seven seconds left in the first penalty, the Hogs go to the box yet again. I gotta say, Kurt, I like it better when we're going from power play to power play. Absolutely. Rather than penalty kill to penalty kill. So a brief five on three, and the Spirit will have another power play to work with. Off the draw, it's won by the Hogs, but they can't clear it. Now over for Warner. Zahn winds it up, shot, and a save was made. 
as the Hogs get one man back. Had a really, and now a five really good four. opportunity there with uh, Wyatt Worth sneak into the back door. Just a great opportunity to hit him. A lot of traffic in the way, though. That may have been what he saw. <clears throat> now Kane will take the draw as power play unit number one still on the ice here for the Spirit. Into the corner. Puck back to the point. Werner sends it over for Brown. Shoots. Deflected wide. Now Lovin will settle it. Sends it back to the point. Werner drops it down low. Oh, what a deflection there by Kane on net. The save was made. Now back to the point once again for Werner. And walks the line a bit. Looks for a lane, but the shot was deflected high into the netting. And we'll get a stoppage for that. Looks like we're going to get a uh, Johnson, Rob, Carton line up front for part of this power play. Allen and Daniger at D. A lot of length on that D right yeah, there. And I think uh, <laughs> if I'm if I'm the coach, my strategy right now is feed the puck to Brady Allen. Yes, exactly. Ride that until you can't get any more <laughs> out of it. The hot hand. We'll use a uh, basket. There, there it is. Scores. There it is. Daniger on a similar play that Allen scored a couple yesterday. Just put it on the net. It wasn't a lot of wasn't a, a hard shot. Just a just enough sneaky to, wrister. Interested to see if there was a tip here. We had good screens in front of the net. Finds its way through. We'll have to wait and see if they, uh, yeah, who they give that score the goal to. to. Someone else, but it looks like it's going to be Daniger's goal. Yep. I was just about to say, feed the hot hand. <laughs> Go with the basketball analogy that time. So you're, you're mixing in all the sports analogies I am. today, Kurt. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the kind of professional you That's are. That's right. <laughs> we got to keep things fresh here. Oh, oh, okay. They're Good. saying that Carden tipped that one in. All right, so Major Carden on the goal. And back underway now as Spirit in the hog zone once again. Kallenberger will chase it down on the boards. Collision there. And the Hogs able to come up with it and dump it back out. Daniger will push the puck forward. And now back into the hogs uh, in the Spirit zone as hustling to it. First, the Hogs player able to send it back to the point, but intercepted there by the Spirit, Will Peters, and skated back to neutral ice. Battle four along the boards in front of the player benches, and now we're going to get another. I think we're going to get a hit penalty. there. Yeah, I think that's going to be against the Hogs, Hogs player again. for hitting Kallenberger over there. Wally was down on the ground, it looks like to me. Once again, player pleading his case. <laughs> To no avail, as yes, it was a check to the back there, clear infraction. So, Hogs uh, at this point uh, continue if you're to shoot seeing more, in the foot. If you're seeing more instant replays today, we've got Brad Allen on the instant replay <laughs> trigger doing a great job. He's all over it. <laughs> and back to the power play. This time, a little bit of a different look on the power play as we have the forward combination of Carden, Johnson, and Rob. Wheeler and Brady Allen on the blue line. Uh -oh. Stolen away, short-handed. And a good job by Brady Allen to get back and get a stick on that. Forcing that shot wide. Now Johnson will come down and pick it up. Up the left side he comes. And off the boards to himself. Nifty play there, but he overskates it a bit. Some loose puck picked up by Carden. Sends it in front through the crease and no spirit player able to get a stick on it. Comes back to center ice as Calvin Wheeler will skate the puck forward now. Into the zone, big check there. He's taken off the puck. Good clean check there. And still in the zone, spirit able to maintain possession. Back to the point, shot from Wheeler is deflected wide. Now another shot from the other side. That one does get through. And Brady Allen made. over there, take that shot every time. I bet. As Rob pushes the puck forward but able to be cleared out by the Hogs. And Calvin Wheeler back for it in his own zone. To the boards for Allen. His pass. Spirit get caught in a line change there. Quick recovery. Is intercepted, now sent back into their zone. Chipped immediately back out. And nice play there. Headman pass for Tyler Kane across for Levin. Winds it up. And shot hits a shin guard. And deflects to the boards, still in the zone. 
Lovin behind the net. Fights off a couple of checks and sends it across. Too hot to handle for Kane. And the Hogs able to dump it out. Now eight seconds to go in the penalty, so that will just about do it for the power play. As the outlet pass is deflected away. Settled there by Lovin. Back to even strength as the Spirit will send it into the zone. Lovin, he shoots. Oh, and it's right into the breadbasket of the goaltender. Two beautiful Great moves job there. to dance through three or four different Ice Hogs player handling the puck well and just couldn't quite get the angle that he wanted on that one, I don't think, and uh, ended up kind of putting it right there in the chest, but great job to get up there open. Now face off in the hog zone, Carden on the draw with Brackett and Beaver. Puck along the near boards and chipped out by the hogs, back they come. Centering effort and a good stick there by Eric Life as he great continues to battle in the Eric corner. Life. Takes his man down on a good play, and loose puck picked up by Carden, threads the needle for Brackett, and he has pressure on, can't quite settle it. Now Bustin sends it on there. Oh my goodness. Deflected high, and a save was made. Brackett on the puck now, and big check in the corner, and pass back from Carden to Bussin, the one-timer, and the save was made. Loose puck behind the net as it's picked up by the Hogs, set up the far boards, and they're able to skate it back out. But a good back check there by Carden. He's able to disrupt things. And Bussin will pick up a loose puck and send it on net. Taken there by the Hogs as they'll slap it out. That's going to be icing. And content to take an icing call here just to settle things down a bit. Yeah, the Hogs just decided it's time to clear this out and take a breather and talk about things. So. 2.41 to go here in the first period. You know one what to nothing. We've Spirit been talking about, Kurt, is uh, how well this team has been passing. Yes. And I've been paying attention. And it's first line through fourth line. Not just are they passing to look for the other people, but these are crisp, hard passes. It's really fun to watch them do this. Yeah, that's been the, uh, the way it's been going for the last several weekends for the Spirit. They've just been clicking on. All cylinders, like you said, with that passing, which is so so nice to see, just peaking at the right time of the season. They really are. Now back underway as the puck behind the net. Kallenberger battles with a Hogs player and now trickles out. Clearing effort doesn't make it out of the zone. Shot from Ship and the save was made. Peters will skate to the wall and battle for it there. Sent to the blue line and now picked up by the Hogs. As pressure on by Nick Lowe, but they're able to break through that and clear it to center ice. Dump it into the spirit zone. Shots on the board showing right now 14 to nothing in favor of the spirit. And Scott Lutzke showing 15 to one. So either way, Cale Parker's not having to do a tremendous amount of work, but uh, when he does, he's there. Needless to say, yeah, the uh, onslaught so far of shots from the spirit. All the action in the hog zone to this point. And that's where we are once again, but the Hogs will pick it up and skate it back out as very close to being a icing there, but they'll wave it off. Puck in the spirit zone picked up by Daniger as he'll send it up the far wall. Hops away from Johnson, but, and now the shot comes from the Hogs, hits a skate and deflects back to center ice. Now loose puck at the Hogs, Spirit blue line. Here comes Puck's on Warner. Stolen away by Warner. He's got a man in front. Oh, and he can't get it to him. It was Gage Robb. Just lost the handle just a bit off of that unbalanced now, outlet pass. Is intercepted, held in by John Brown. As we're into the final minute of this first period. Hogs send it up the boards, but able to get a stick on it and keep it in was Warner. Nice job there. Oh, now, so nicely done. Front. And Rob just narrowly missed banging that one home. Now John Brown sends a shot towards the net. It's deflected. Oh my goodness. Rebound is off the post. As Rob narrowly Cage missed once again. Cage is getting robbed left and right here. He is. <laughs> Rob is getting robbed. Now finally the Hogs able to carry it back out. And a shot hits John oh, Brown. John Brown, great job with the feet. And that'll do it for the first period as the buzzer sounds. 
So Boy, dominating flurry of activity there. Uh, in every aspect, but still only a one nothing game here after one period. Boy, I can't help but think though, you keep peppering these shots on this goalie, they're gonna go in. I mean, how, we've hit at least three pipes in this game already. We've had a tremendous amount of cross the golden road opportunities with passes. Uh, they, if they continue the game like this, I just, I just can't imagine that good things won't happen. Yeah, I just need to stick with the program at this point, and I agree, Kelly, I think uh, good things will happen. So we'll take a break here as teams will talk things over at their benches. Yeah. You wanna switch? Just about set for second period action. I will turn it over to Kelly Carden for the play-by-play. -play. We've gotten into a pretty good rhythm here over a weekend or several games of switching out every other period to, to save our, our golden pipes. Uh, but in all honesty, it's kind of a two-man job here uh, because if you have to do a whole game by yourself, it, it can get really tiring. It all really new appreciation can. for the folks that do it. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. So. Uh, but when there's two of us here, it's a lot of fun. You, know, you don't really feel like you're having to shoulder the load, and you can you can watch the game and 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 see what's going on. So puck has been dropped. We're going to be going left or right to left on your radio dial as the Spirit go back to pick it up behind their net. Hogs take it around back out to the point. They're going to try to throw it in. Oh, big glove by Brady Allen there tries to get it down on the ice so he can deal with it but a dangerous bounce and gets around back and behind the net, picked up by Werner, Werner headman pass to, I'm sorry, Kane headman pass to Werner. It goes into the far corner. They're fighting for it and Ice Hawks pick it up behind the net, still fought for by Kane. Kane comes up with it. Kane is down on his knees, but still controlling the puck. He tries to get it out to Gavin Lovin. Gavin Lovin picks it up, brings it around. He's gonna send it out at the point. Brady Allen is going to send it back to Lovin. Lovin's going to skate it a little bit. Shot tipped up into the net. I wanted Brady Allen to shoot right there. That was his spot. It was. <laughs> we, we, anytime Brady Allen gets the spot out here at the uh, point to the right of the goalie, I think he should shoot until there's a reason to tell him no. <laughs> Could not agree more. It was a nice shot there by Lovin as Absolutely. he was able to work it, work it into the uh, a nice shooting lane there, but uh, good job by the Hogs to get a stick on it. And you can see sometimes when, when Gavin Lovin lines up, you can tell where he's aiming. And more often than not, does a great job of getting it there. Good job at the blue line by Life to keep it in. And here come the Ice Hogs. Eric Life putting some pressure on cross ice, doing a good job there. Puck comes into the corner here. Uh, still not totally controlled by the Ice Hogs, throwing their body around a little bit, trying to get the puck out. And here comes Derek, uh, Nick Daniger down the left side. He's gonna take a high shot. Bounces around off the far corner, picked up by Brackett, centered, intercepted by the Ice Hawks, pressure by Daniger. Daniger manages to poke it over to Brackett, picked it up by Gunnar Beaver. Gunnar Beaver sends it up to Brackett. Brackett's gonna chase it in to the near corner, and he gets there first, and he's looking to get the pucks poked out, and still uncontrolled, goes over to the far corner, and Gunnar Beaver's gonna take it, and he's gonna poke it up. Near wall, intercepted by the Ice Hogs, but here comes Major Carden to steal the puck. Tries to get it in close to the crease, poked away, picked up by the Ice Hogs. They send it, oh, up into the ice, picked up by Brackett. Brackett manages to put it on, on the net. Brackett picks it up again, sends it back out to Life. Life's gonna throw it in. Oh, a little tip there. Oh, picked up by Carden, but it gets kicked out to the corner and still fighting for by the Spirit and the Ice Hogs, and they manage to poke it out, and we've got a call Interference, maybe? Roughing is the call, looks like. Really nice shift there by Houston Brackett, the Absolutely. senior. Absolutely. Strong on the four check behind the net, working the puck. Nice pass back to the point. Oh, it's gonna go against the Spirit, actually. Yeah, so looking at the replay there, uh, uh, Andrew Johnson had gotten knocked down to his knees, and from his knees did appear to throw a punch at the cage of one of the players. Uh, who may or may not have been saying something to him <laughs> while he did it. So, Spirit, as with will, the <laughs> Spirit will go to the penalty kill for the first time in this game. It'll be Werner and Rob 
with Bussin and Brown on defense. Quick shot goes wide and around the back of the net, comes out of the zone. Ice Hogs gathered up, look to settle it down. Pressure by Werner, he intercepts the pass. Can't quite get a hold of it, but definitely doing a good job of making sure the Ice Hogs can't get a, a concerted attack going here. They finally get it into the zone and get a shot off. Kale Parker handles it easily, goes around back of the net, oh. centered and goal. You know, that right there was just good hockey, Kurt. There's not a lot you can do to defend that. And so uh, here's the replay coming. Goes around the back of the net. Yep, just a good centering pass to a person waiting in the in the crease. Um, not much you can do about that. You know, they're a no. hockey team too. Mm -hmm. Much we hate to admit. So it's a 1-1 game. So just like that, the huge shot differential. Absolutely. But still a 1-1 game here. Yep. Here come the Ice Hogs. They send it deep into the zone, and they're going to chase. Calvin Wheeler's going to get there first behind the net. Up the far wall, looking for a breakout pass. Oh, just bounces over the stick, and they put it up on net, but can't quite get there. Calvin Wheeler, okay, so Kale Parker wisely just decides to... Yes, of course. Uh, wisely just decides to go and freeze that to his right, so we're going to have a drop. So the Tyler Kane line is going to take the drop to Kale's right, sends it back, picked up by Wheeler, and picked up by back and forth to Allen and Wheeler. Oh, Ice Hogs come up with it, and they're going to get a shot off. Bounces away. way up into the net. So a little bit sloppy yeah. with the puck there. Getting a little lackadaisical now for the Spirit as the Hogs uh, feeling some life and energy after tying this game. Yep. Continue to put pressure on in the Spirit zone. Well, as I say, hockey rewards hustle, and the Ice Hogs have been hustling this whole time, so it's rewarded them a little bit uh, in a couple of opportunities. Eric Life takes around back of the net. Breakout pass comes along. Here the comes Tyler Kane there. up the near side. He hits the brakes up. Poke, stick, or, uh, puck gets poked away. Comes back out to Daniger. Daniger tries to center it, but it gets interrupted by the Ice Hogs. The Ice Hogs doing a good job of plugging up some passing lanes here. D to D pass to the near wall here, and they take it into the near crease, but Worth loses it, and it gets poked out. Life has it, and he's gonna send it in to Lovin. Lovin bounces back across the blue line, back to Daniger. Oh, we've got a Another hit penalty here. coming up against the Hogs this time. It's gonna be yep. a roughing call. So that's gonna be a well, hit right Actually, I oh, take I that back, it's, it's gonna go Worth. against Worth. So here's the replay. See if we can get a look at what just happened. Uh, looks like there was a, a hit came from Worth, but Worth took the worst of the hit. Worth went down, but the penalty goes against him. I'm assuming that they're calling him for that hit from a little bit of a blind angle. Uh, so definitely made that call on intent rather than on results. So Carden to take the drop here in the middle of the rink and chased by Houston Brackett. They're on the penalty kill here. Eric Life and Daniger out back as defense and picked up by Brackett and a shot by Carden for a shorty goal. Excellent job by the Spirit to put pressure on. And all because of an errant outlet pass. We always talk about how critical those passes are out of your own zone. Yep. And Spirit able to pick off a errant pass and a Nice feed over for Major as he oh, just buries it. Great job by Brackett pressuring that puck and then feeding it right over to him for the score. Great to see them answer with that goal with another one to take the lead here. Puck gets squirted out. Kale Parker looking for his assist. <laughs> Tipped down Tip by the high stick, but it'll be played by the Hogs, yep. which will wave that off. There we'll keep go. playing here. Hogs look to settle things down and come back. They are still on the power play, and they're going to skate it to the neutral zone. Picked up by Kurt Bussin with the big hip check. Picked up by Major Carden behind the net. Ice Hogs still controlling it, but they can't. They're looking for a centering pass, and there's a quick centering pass, but covered by Kale Parker. So we are a minute 14 into this penalty. Get a forward change here. Looks like, uh, who we got, Worth and Kane? Is that who's coming out here? No, I'm sorry. Beaver, Beaver and Kallenberger. Kallenberger as the forwards out for this penalty kill shift. We're to the left of Kale Parker, and here's the drop. 
Puck comes back uh, to Bussin. Bussin takes it around the back of the net, and he's, oh, tries to sing it out, but it hits a Ice Hogs player. is going to be picked up by Brown, and the Springfield's going to be able to at least get it out of the zone, and it is going to go a long way and behind the Ice Hogs net. Pressure by Gunner Beaver. He's going to, oh, good job of trying to rub out there. Can't get it, and it goes back into the Ice Hog zone, but they do get an outlet pass out to the neutral zone. Cross the blue line. Deed up by John Brown. Pokes it away. Picked up by the Ice Hogs. Wide shot sent into the corner by Parker. Bussin working hard on the ice over there, and, you know, he may just be laying on the puck. Uh, I'm sure Trying it's a complete accident, but he's <laughs> killing, killing seconds as we speak. And here come the Ice Hogs around the net, looking for that centering pass, and oh! They get it. And again, that's uh, that's just good hockey. They centered the pass. I think the Spirit were doing a good job d up there, Kurt, but they got an extra guy. Yep, and another power play goal. Hogs now two for two on the power play. Yep. Fortunately for the Spirit, they're able to uh, sandwich in a shorthanded goal in between there, so we remain two to two here, but. Give the well, call, Hogs credit for uh, executing on the power play. And once again, we've got a battle on our hands. These Hogs are not going to go away. They are not. And like I said, they, they're a hustling team. And hockey's rewarding them despite the amount of shots. Played by Kale Parker around the back of the net and picked up by Shimp. Shimp's going to come back to the near side. Outlet pass up to Nick Lowe. And up to Peters. Peters gets it out of the zone. He crosses the blue line, and he is looking for a centering pass poked away by the Ice Hogs. A little help there by Nick Lowe to get it up the wall, and here come the Ice Hogs. Poked around. Wheeler still can't handle the puck, but it comes into the zone and picked up by Kale Parker, and he has to just jump on it. A little rush cross by the... Cross him up a bit there uh, as the Parker able to make the save. Rebound to the ice, but he's able to scamper to it and prevent the hog player from getting there first. Line changes here for both teams as we'll get the Werner-Rob Johnson line back on the ice with Ganniger and Life. 8.59 right. to go here in the second period. 2-2 two -two score. Puck squirts all the way down. That's not going to go for icing because it was going slowly. Comes out to Life. Life sends it in diagonally across the zone. Chased in by Rob. Rob's going to poke it away. Oh, Daniger tries to keep it in, but the Ice Hogs managed to get through. And here it comes. Daniger's got some open ice. He tries to split the split the D there, but uh, bounced into the neutral zone. Daniger's able to just throw it back in. Still no possession by either team. It's just bouncing around, but picked up by Johnson in the crease. He can't quite get a shot off, and they're able to clear it. Good opportunity there by Johnson. Yes, it was. Dignity pass. Daniger has it intercepted by the Ice Hogs. They're doing a good job of clogging the passing lanes here, but picked up by Rob. Manages to keep it in and fighting along the mid mid wall here. Daniger sends it in. Still can't get it deep into the zone. Rob's fighting for it over in the far corner. Back to Johnson. Puck still bouncing around. Johnson behind the neck. Oh, good centering pass. John Werner is going to go to the box for a retaliatory cross check right in front of the yeah, net. They're still mixing it up, and I think he just earned another one. Yeah, this is a this is a, a not a great turn here uh, in the game that we've already given up two shorthanded goals here in a tight tied game and it's going to be so, a double minor and that's going to get a two minute cross check and a two minute roughing so that is uh that's not going to be great for the home team here we've got lovin and johnson i'm sorry lovin and kane out to take the first shift on this penalty kill so going to get a test to see how they do here they've done a good job in all but they have had to give up a couple of goals here yeah. shorthanded so Hate Let's, to see that. Would like to see them aggressive on this penalty kill once again. Hopefully they can get the puck deep and get a four check going as they've been able to do. Yep. Oh, poked away by John Brown. John Brown's got a little room to skate. He's going to just back in it deep into the zone. Chased by Tyler Kane. Tyler Kane's going to force the puck loose. Tyler Kane's going to come up with it. And Tyler Kane is going to 
take the puck, and he's going to look for someone to pass to. He's going to take it around, and he's going to just shoot. Goes wide all the way around, back around to John Brown, then back into Levin and Kyler Kane. Doing a great job of killing this penalty just, with a hard offense. Just as we talked about, getting that four check going. And Best comes back defense out. Is a good to, offense, absolutely. Right? Especially in your own zone, but here come the Ice Hogs. They managed to get it into the zone. No real possession, though. Now they've got it on the near walls, fighting for it, looking for a pass or now a shot. Coming coming to the far side. There's a shot, goes wide, comes back out to the near point. DDD pass out to the high crease. There's a shot, bounce dead around the back of the net. He sets up shop, same shooter. Long shot, goes wide around the back of the net, and here, come, here comes a whistle. Not Extra sure attack on the ice as they, we get another call. A player was okay. dumped in front. But Cal Bussin is going to the... Boy, that's... Uh, Cross not sure what call. happened there. Player was dumped in front. Okay. Why is the clock running? Are oh, they stopping now? Yeah. So, so Spirit will be uh, five on three short for a full two minutes. That is going to be a tough one. So we've got Worth, Daniger, and Wheeler out. Uh, a lot of energy on the ice right here for this, so that's good. Quick shot goes into the uh, pads of Kale Parker, comes back out to the point far side. They're going to set it up, DDD pass, looking to shoot. Shot wide, dies, and there is a shot. Rebound off of the back uh, glass, just came and sat there. I don't think Kale Parker ever saw that. Um, nope. And that's going to happen when you're five on three. Yes, it is. Boston thinks he's going to skate out of the box, but that's only going to take Zahn Werner's down, down, to, minor, two down minutes. to two minutes, and the Spirit will be shorthanded for another minute 46. So not only the Hawks score on the five on three, but they're going to get another five on three for a good yeah. almost full two minutes. And so Spirit now just trying to avoid disaster, and Bussin needs to settle down in the box. Yep. As yep. he's frustrated. So we've got a T on, uh, is that a technical? So on know. our player. So uh, the math of penalty minutes is killing us here. Um, did a great job yesterday of really not having too many penalties like this and played a, a really solid game and pulled away late. Um, little bit of self-destructive behavior here by the players not really sure what this next one's going to be so they're doing some figuring here now they've taken Bussin's penalty back up to two minutes but i'm not sure if that's correct uh, i guess it looks like looks like marzola is doing a little uh doing a little check in here and here comes peters i guess that's a bench minor um so we've got a crowded box here for the spirit nick daniger over there talking to kill parker making sure that his head's right I think Kale's playing a pretty good game. The yeah, you ones, can't blame him for those. No, goals. no. They're the ones he's been blank. beaten on have been shorthanded, all three shorthanded, so that's not his fault. And then uh, really good passes out in front. I, I, so I'm going to say Kale's playing a really good game here, but hockey's a little bit of a fickle bounce sometimes. Yeah, so Spirit need to settle down, try to ride this out. Now trailing in this game, first time trailing this weekend. And I believe it's first time trailing this weekend. Now they've got, now they've got it figured out. Okay. So uh, Boston has a minute 46 to go in his penalty. And they'll drop down John Werner to two minutes as they score on the first of his double minors. Okay, so I've got we've got a uh, a ref expert up here in the in the penalty booth doing a little explaining here, and right now we have Zahn Werner at two minutes and Bussin at 1:46, and he confirms that that is correct. The 10-minute bench minor is being served right now by Will Peters. So Will Peters is going to be out of game for quite a while here. Uh, wonder if we couldn't have put Zane Lutsky in the box there. <laughs> well, he'll serve. Yeah, he'll serve, he'll serve two minutes the of the, of the uh, uh, penalty to Bussin, I believe. Yeah, but and Bussin might be the one the, that gets the 10. The, the misconduct. Hard shot in from the point. 
Daniger's able to clear it out. So we're down to a minute 15, five on three hockey here. We get a line or a personnel change, Houston Bracket out on the ice. And here come the Ice Hogs trying to skate it in. Hard shot. Uh, just lazily looking for the right shot here. They pass it around. Oh, he skates it in close. Nice little. Deceptive little move there. Yeah. Got a good shot off. So here comes Arkansas moving it around, trying to keep it in. Spirit aren't able to put a lot of pressure on just because there's only three of them. But they're keeping their feet moving and doing a good job of not making it too easy. Trying and to keep that puck on the outside. Quick shot. Bounced in front. Kale Parker's looking to slide back over. Comes back out to the near side. Wind up. Goes into Kale Parker's breadbasket, and he stops it. So nice job down there by Kale to smother that one without giving up the rebound and giving the Spirit an opportunity to make a line change here with so. 24 to go in the initial call to Bussin. And Spirit will get one man back. 38 to go in the penalty to Zahn Werner as big faceoff coming up here in the Spirit zone. It'd be nice to get this down the ice. Yep. So Lovin and Shimp and Brady Allen out on the ice for this shift. Oh, quick shot. Comes back to Brady Allen. Good job by Kale Parton Braggett. Tied up behind the net. It's going to come to Shimp up the near wall. Shimp's going to send it out of the zone and at least gets out of the zone. Lovin peels off and they're going to come back with some momentum. Looking to skate it in hard and they get around the first level of defense. Oh, big rebound. It, here comes this side. Send it back out to the point. Wide shot. Never saw the ice. And here comes one of the Spirit players back. So we're five on four and puck behind the back of the net and tries for a wraparound, but he's not Major Carden, so we can't do it. Bracket, now fighting for back the puck. on the ice, back to full strength. And now we're five on five, and so hopefully we can mount a offensive comeback here. Still fighting on it across the ice on the far wall, poked into the corner, and we come up with it, and we've got Brady Allen with the puck. He looks to just send it out, and that's gonna be icing, uh, but Houston Bracken chased it down, so. Um, you know, really not a bad idea to get that icing call. Just kind of get reset here. Yep. They so, were probably playing with a little bit of that penalty kill hangover where you continue to play defensive. All things considered, uh, good job there by the Spirits. They only give up one goal on that five on three. I agree. Extended five on three for the Ice Hogs. And now that we're back to five on five, you can, you can start to think about mounting the offense again, as you said. So picked up by the Ice Hogs, dropped to Kale Parker's right, and Spirit have it on the far wall. Eric Life fighting for it on the far wall. He's going to come up with it and still in the feet. Here comes Houston Brackett. He gets a stick on the puck, but they're still pinning it against the wall over there. Ice Hogs perfectly willing to just kill some time here for sure. Centering pass to Beaver out front. Beaver's got some room to skate. He's going to come up the near wall, gets ahead of his man. Oh, they would have called that icing, but oh, there it is. So, <clears throat> puck kind of hit the brakes there, and the skater kind of went past it. So, just put himself offside there, and so we're going to get a line change here. Zon Werner, Johnson, and Rob out on the ice. Brown and Life at D, and puck's dropping around, gets poked out into the neutral zone. Brown picks it up, intercepted, tipped back to the Ice Hogs. They send it deep in, chased by Brown. Behind the back of the net, he comes around. Oh, fans on it a little bit and takes a hit, and it's going to come up possession for the Ice Hogs. And we got a tripping on John Brown. Another call. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it is it John is Brown. Brown. He skates to the box immediately. He takes his man down. That's yep. another call that you got to make. So John and Brown's mad at himself. He's uh, not mad at anyone else, uh, not complaining about the call, just showing a little frustration there. So we're going to be on the penalty kill again. Who do we have? Johnson, Werner, Wheeler, and Allen. Three minutes left to play in this game. Two minutes of it going to be on penalty kill. Uh, three to two game. So Spirit got a short amount of time to try to get something going here. Puck around the back of the net. Ice Hogs have the puck, and they are looking for a way to center it. And, oh, just a couple of good chances there for the Ice Hogs. And Kale Parker doing a good job, and puck going wide. 
Big shot in and comes out to John Werner. John Werner gets the Careful center there. to Wheeler. Wheeler can't quite get all the stick on it. It does get out of the zone, though, and behind the back of the net for Zahn Werner. Zahn Werner sends it the length of the ice, and it's going to go all the way. Minute and uh, 20 seconds left in the penalty. Pressure by Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson's got the puck. Oh, managed to almost get a shot wow. off there. Hawks player overskated. Yes, there. It absolutely. Almost a disaster. And Andrew Johnson's going to chase it back across there. Boy, that would have been an excellent opportunity there. Pressure by Zahn Werner. Puck into the zone. Bounced by the Ice Hogs, deed up by Calvin Wheeler. Oh, we've got a Another penalty call. here, and I think that's going to be on the Ice Hogs. Uh, uh, it's going to go against they slid the under the corner. Wow. Yep. I thought it was going to go against the Spirit once again. No, but it's I think he slid under the feet of Wheeler. So interference, I guess, was the call. Interference. That'll even things up for the next 56 seconds. Yeah. And a break there for the Spirit. Okay, so four on four hockey here. Worth and Lovin, I'm sorry, Worth and Kane on the ice. Oh, we got five out there. We need, oh, we're skating off here, okay. So room to skate there for Kane and Worth. This is a good combination here that can really move the puck. So like to see that. Back to Daniger. Daniger looks to set something up. Skinner skates it across the red line and sends it in deep. Chased by Kane and Werner, or Worth. Kane's going to be down on his knees, but of course he's going to come up with it because that's what Tyler Kane does. Goes into the corner and outlet pass by the Ice Hogs. Uh, going to be icing. Yep. Oh, yeah, just yeah. barely made it. Yeah. <laughs> Thought they were going to wave that one off. Yeah. But. We had Daniger there with the long legs skating for it, so he probably would have got there first, but it is going to go the length of the ice. So really love to see this Worth-Kane combination ha handle in front of the net. Because they are so good at that, but we're and gonna get them off now the we're ice get for a some fresh line legs. Here is Johnson and Johnson Carden now and hop Carden. over the boards for the Spirit. Like you were saying earlier, though, Carden's got the hot hand, so we might as well keep feeding that no one too. Let off there for sure. So, Ice Hogs managed to come up with it. They're gonna skate it out of the zone. Deed up by Carden, poked a little bit away, but they're gonna take the momentum into the zone. Here comes back of the net to Daniger. Daniger back to Life. Life's gonna go into the corner with it. He pokes it around. He's fighting for it in the net, and it goes behind the back of the net. Daniger's going to have it. Daniger's going to look to set it up. He's going to pass it up to an outlet pass for Carden, but they managed to intercept it and send it right back in. Minute and 10 going into the final bit of this game, but uh, this is going to be icing because we're five on four now. John Brown back on the ice, so it is a power okay. play for the Spirit. Okay, so minute and four seconds here. Most of it a power play. This would be a good chance to tie this game up be huge here going into the third period so power play unit number one looks like it's out on the ice no surprise there we've got John Brown at D and Zahn Werner dropping back I like our chances here Kurt up oh, comes back to comes back to the ice hogs they get it behind the net they're looking for a centering pass tied it up in the far corner John Brown comes up with it he gets it out to there we go, cross ice pass to Kane. Kane up to Worth. Worth's got a little bit of a step on his man. Bray, oh, intercepted pass, but kept in by John Brown. Kane gets it in the near side, gets it in the corner. He's looking to send it to Worth behind the net. Oh, great centering pass by Worth. Intercepted though by the Ice Hogs. So Zahn Werner's gonna come back and get it behind the back of the net. Heavy pressure by the Ice Hogs, picked up by Lovin. Lovin's going to take it around the back of the net. And 10 seconds in the penalty, 20 seconds in the game. Wow. Lovin has got it, and he drops it back for Worth. Oh, goes the length of the ice. 10 seconds left in the game. Cale Parker looking for his outlet assist. Comes up to, oh, just can't quite play it there. And that's going to be it. So good, good flurry of opportunity there at the end, but come up just a little bit short. So what do you think, yeah. Kurt? Well, uh, I think uh, most most of the damage in that period was certainly self-inflicted as Spirit, yeah. too many penalties once again. Yesterday well, was fairly clean. Losing 3-2 and all three of them being power play goals, uh, you know, you, you can't say it's anything but, uh, but being yeah. in the box, really. Credit the uh, Hogs where, uh, you know, they it's, it's the old bend but don't break mentality. 
as yeah. Spirit pepper them early, just they, onslaught, all the possession in their end, but they weathered that storm for the most part and just waited for their opportunities, and they made the most of them. And just kept hustling and kept their feet moving and kept taking advantage of the mistakes that were made and, you know, just played good hockey. So uh, another one goal game after two periods. Yesterday it was the Spirit up 3-2 to two after two. This time they find themselves down 3-2 to two after two, so work so to be done in this third period. Only their second loss of the season, so they're – Pit, their uh, record now is 14. No, we, we one more period to go. What's that? One more period to go, right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought the game was over. I'm not going to lie to you, Kurt. I thought we had just lost well, that you game. Said, you said uh, not much to go in the game. I thought you just misspoke. I it was did not get a second period. I was completely and utterly <laughs> had lost track of this. How is this not? the end of this game this game seems like it's gone forever yes so oh my gosh i was calling that whole period thinking it was the end of the game one more to go so still uh still hope for the boys but i'm gonna i'm gonna announce my retirement <laughs> from color commentating right now with a 0-1 and 0 record as, <laughs> it's all good. as an idiot it's all good well, I have, so, I have renewed faith now. We, we've got a chance. Mayor Kerr, <laughs> wishful thinking that that game was over the way things were going there Oh, for a while, my goodness. So, well, I guess we've got a Zamboni break then. We do. <laughs> and luckily you're calling will, third period, so. <laughs> hopefully the boys can regroup and uh, get their heads on, stay out of the box. We'll take a break here. We'll, uh, we'll get Kelly a cup of coffee and back for period number three here in just a bit.
Welcome back to Jordan Valley Ice Park. Ready for period number three. Hang, hang on just a second. We are gathering up at our respective benches and uh, around the goalie and getting ready to start the third period. Quick recap, three to two uh, in favor of the Ice Hogs. 20 to 12 shots on goal in favor Evening of- Evening up a bit. Yep, yep, a little bit. But, uh, but still, if we keep this up, I think good things will happen. So stay out of the box this third period, play some smart hockey, and uh, we should be okay, but we'll see how the boys react to this. Hogs are ready to go. They're standing at uh, center ice. Spirit break their huddle. Once again, Busson will skate to the box to serve the remainder of his misconduct penalty and hopefully cool things off. And it'll be the Kane Worth loving line to start things off here with Brady Allen and Calvin Wheeler on the blue line. Five on five action to start things off here in the third period. Arkansas showing some life on the bench there. Banging their sticks on the boards. And we are underway with the Spirit on the puck, moving into the hog zone. And a good back check there, but Spirit strong on the puck in the zone. Pass over for Worth, hits a body and sails wide. Now in the far corner, Levin will dump it back down low for Worth. And so he'll work it up the boards. Drops it off for Wheeler. Calvin sends it towards the net. Now a bouncer in front, settled by Levin. Ooh. And a shot. I believe it might have gone off the post. Yeah, I think it was uh, worth or loving slipping it over to Kane. Kane put a tip on it, uh, went up, and just went wide and hit the post. So but another great example of them looking for each other. Good pressure here early by the Spirit as they look to get this thing tied. Would have been nice to have an instant replay on that shot, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now back underway, puck back to the point. Wheeler sends it on and hits a body in front. Worth will work it along the boards, and referee Marzola's arm is in the air. We're going to get another call. It's a hooking call, and it's going to go against the Hogs. So an early power play opportunity here for the Spirit. Okay, looks like power play line number one coming out. John Brown and Zahn Werner. <clears throat> Tyler Kane set to take this draw, and Spirit will get possession off the faceoff. Warner sends it on, and Worth tried to deflect it on net, was unable to do so. Now centering pass in front. Warner was definitely looking for a pass there. Back to the point now, Warner able to slide it over for Brown, and now back for Warner. Zahn sends it in. And intercepted by the Hogs and dumped oh down the goodness. ice. Oh my oh, goodness! Oh my goodness! As it took a crazy hop off the boards, Parker having to slide back over and prevent a disaster there. And the Spirit able to work it forward once again into the zone. But the Hogs will take over possession and send it up the boards and out with pressure on and hustling back John Brown as he will do battle with the Hog player in the corner. Now help from Warner as he'll pick the puck up and outlet pass off the skates of Lovin and stolen away by the Hogs once again, shorthanded, carried into the zone and a shot on net. 56 seconds left to go Parker. in the penalty, uh, the power play. Uh, despite that first flurry of shots, the Spirit not able to keep possession here, so they're gonna take a drop to Kale Parker's left and hopefully get something going here. Andrew Johnson on the draw. With, now it's won by the Hawks and they carry it in and score. Short-handed goal and the Hogs strike so, again. Real quick poke by the center, sends it over towards the goal and the Hawks player, Hawks player was able to just dance right through and get a get a shorty goal here to put it four to two. So a little bit of a hill to climb here, but uh, we're still on a power play and let's see if we can get something these next 53 seconds. Now back underway as Spirit will carry it in, pass over for Brackett and send in front, loose puck at the side, banged away, still loose and finally cleared to the corner by the Hogs as Brackett will send it back to the point for Daniger. Winds it up, but his shot gets blocked. 
for the far boards for Brady Allen. He'll send it down low. Now puck sent across by Beaver. Brackett can't catch up to it. And it's going to be sent down by the Hogs once again as they're starting to feel it now. Life on the Hogs bench. Cale Parker making very sure that that didn't go eight. Now Daniger on the puck for the Spirit. Down the right side, looks to work it in front. Sends it in front for Beaver. He can't get a shot off, deflected high. And the Hogs will chase it down. They're back to even strength. And we are five on five this cherry picker. And now puck sent back to center ice. Taken there by Daniger. Uh, so he'll send it off the boards and in. Right to the stick of Brackett. Shot on goal. And save was made. Goaltender lost it there for a second, but he's able to pick it up. Good bounce it. over to Brackett. Great opportunity. Got a good shot off. A little bit of interference there. Big check. Or not interference, but it got interrupted there in the midst of his shot. Uh, line change as Will Peters will step onto the ice with Lowe and Skabinski. Shimp and Brown on the blue line. Puck comes back to center ice and dumped in by Skabinski. Hog defends him back to pick it up. Pressure on by Peters. They're able to break through that. And a good clean breakout by the Hogs, but they give it up in the neutral zone. And now battle four along the far boards in front of the Spirit bench. Nick Lowe there for the Spirit. And still loose. Hogs able to dump it in. Cale Parker will settle it behind his own net. And sent up the boards by Shimp. Intercepted there momentarily by the Hogs. And now Peters will try it the other way. More pressure on the other side of the ice. And Hogs able to dump it back down low. Now John Brown picks up a loose puck behind his own net. Good pressure on by the Hogs, but the Spirit able to break through it. And Peters will dump it in. They'll go for a line change. With 11 minutes to go in this third period, now 4-2 deficit for the Spirit. Oh, great job by Kane there to intercept that. But back come the Hogs the other way with it. Set in front, off the pad. Another save by Parker. And another puck came from the side. Parker able to put a pad on it. We'll get a look at the instant replay there as Kale Parker once again strong with those pads in the Spirit net. And he'll smother it for face-off as we'll get the Kane Love and Worth line back on the ice. Oh, that's a shame because that was uh, that was looking very much like a split the defense breakaway for Worth there. A little misfire on the face-off there, so we'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Can't quite get the puck back to the ref there. And now it's going to be worth on the draw for the Spirit. Loose puck picked up by the Spirit. Outlet pass for Lovin. He's got room to skate down the right side. Gavin into the zone. Drops it off for Worth. And now centering pass in front. And intercepted by the Hogs. They'll dump it back out. Chasing it down is Calvin Wheeler. As he'll circle behind his own net up the near boards. Errant pass is taken over by the Hogs, and now off the far boards. Brady Allen will pick up that one back to Wheeler, but it hops off of him. Looks now like a little bit of miscommunication. Nice job there to avoid a check, and another check as he's able to skate the puck out. Now cross-ice pass just out of the reach of Lovin. No icing as a spirit with the four check on, and Hogs able to break through that. Player dumped in front, and more scrum activity. I was behind the, the pillar corner. here. What just happened? I think the initial call came from the front of the net uh, as the player was dumped. I thought it was the, After the initial call, but looks like we're going to have offsetting minors, and we're going to go four on four. Now we got five ice the hogs out there. The check came along the boards. Waiting for the ref over on the far side to make Player a decision on. Player was down in front of the net. I thought that was going to be the initial call, but it looks like it's going to be five on five. Five on have. five. 
So spoke to a couple of players earlier today about what their relationship with this team was. Oh, oh! Bouncer almost got through there. Now a shot from the side and a save. Rebound is loose and finally covered by the Hogs goaltender. And uh, one of the one of the things that they said was that uh, while by and large they don't have any real animosity towards this team, that they do remember some some JV losses that they hold against them yeah. that, that the Spirit are definitely still holding in their mind. Now off the faceoff, puck to the corner. Warner will send it back to the point. Eric Life will drop it down low. Centering pass is deflected wide. Now back to the point for Daniger. He winds it up. Stick save to the corner. Oh, and we got a now call we get coming. another call. It's going to go against interference. Rob. No, it's going to go against the Ice Hogs player for interference against Gage Rob. As we get a look at the instant replay. Gage doing some good work there in the corner and just taken off the puck or taken away from the play as he was away from the puck. So uh, opportunity here for the Spirit once again on the power play. And so interesting lineup here. We've got Kallenberger, Lovin, and Kane uh, since Worth in the box. Worth is in the box, and that's a good one. Uh, so, Kallenberger's got a shot, so hopefully we can. Now off the draw, it's Warner. Over for Brown as they'll play catch with it. Back for Warner. Drops it down low for Kallenberger. Now across for John Brown. His shot. Oh. Save is made. Rebound. It's loose. And picked up by the Hogs. Dumped out as Parker will send it back up ice. Looking for that assist that you talk about, Kelly. Yep. He's not going to get it this time, though as puck to the blue line and out. Warner will pick it up. Goes cross ice for Lovin. Circles at the blue line. Now into the zone, weaving through traffic. And on goal, and sends it in front. Oh. Unable to bang it home. Nice job there by Gavin. I was thinking he was gonna wind that up for yeah, a shot. but he was there for the pass and the, the shot for the rebound. Now pass doesn't connect and dump back in by the Hogs. And Warner will have to come back and pick it up. Down, down the ice he comes. Around one man into the zone. Still on a stick. Looks to center it. Does for Lovin. Oh. Spins and fires, but it's wide. Now Kallenberger will pick up a puck along the far boards. Back to the point and right back to him. And now a pass down low. Hits the referee. Bouncer fanned on by the Hogs. They can't clear it. 30 Brown. seconds left. Down low and a shot. Save was made. Rebound in front. And cleared out of danger oh, by the That's going to be a high stick. Going to be a high stick. And depending who put puts a stick on it first. Hand is down. They'll so. wave it off. And we play on here. Outlet pass. Nice pass for Lovin. He picks it up with speed. Into the zone around the defense. And can't get a good shot off. Rebound or the clearing effort makes it out of the zone and picked up there by Daniger as time about to expire on the penalty. We're back to even strength as shot blocked and carried back the other way by the Hogs into the spirit zone. Cleared out of there by that was it. Parker. That was the goal right there. <laughs> if that had gotten through, it would have bounced. As time becoming a factor now with less than seven minutes to go and the Spirit still down by two. Now Will Peters will pick up a loose putt and he can't carry it in. Daniger at his own blue line. Cross ice pass for Rob. Oh, that's Sends a knee to knee there. Peters. Would have liked to have seen a call on that one just for safety's sake. Puck back into the Spirit zone up the far boards. Bounces over the Spirit player's stick. Ice Hogs just and willing to play penalty kill hockey here and kill some time. Now dumping it all the way down, it's gonna be icing as looks like it hit some traffic right around the center ice line, but we get a whistle and a face off back in the hog zone. Worth is out of the box now on that whistle. Bussing back on the uh, spirit bench as well and now on the ice as Carden Bracket Beaver will go to work on this shift. 
Puck cleared out by the Hogs. And Bussin will scamper back to pick it up for the Spirit. Stops and looks for an outlet pass. Now forward for Brackett. He's met by a Hogs player. And second effort is into the Hogs zone, but immediately back out. As you said, Kelly, Hogs at this point on the defensive, just content to clear things yep, out. Absolutely. Now the two Spirit, goal lead with 5.43 left to go. Spirit able to push the puck forward, but can't quite catch up to it. Now Beaver will dump it in on a delayed offside. They'll have to tag up. And the Hogs with the puck up the near boards. A good poke check there by Shimp. And Hogs able to break through once again as they send it forward, but stolen away by the Spirit momentarily. Taken right back by the Hogs. Oh, and a good stick there by Lowe, but can't get a hold of it. Now Skabinski will dump it in. Behind the net, stolen away by Kallenberger as he'll work it up the far boards. Now back to the point for Schimp. He winds it up, but it's right into the breadbasket of the Hogs forward and sent back out by Parker. Now loose puck is taken by the Hogs. Little dipsy-doo pass there, doesn't connect between the legs and sent back in by the Spirit. Clearing effort there, doesn't make it out. And good job by Kallenberger to follow that play and mix it up and still battle for it along the boards. We get a whistle as Kallenberger fell on the puck. 4.26 to go in the third period. Spirit still trailing in this one, four to two. And there's time becoming more and more a factor here as Spirit still well, lots of time. We still have time to make something happen here. We're still getting lots of shots. Now puck off the draw, played at the blue line, held in as Kane will center it in front off the side of the net now. Now back to the point for Daniger. He winds it up, shot, loose, rebound, and cleared off by the Hogs. Held in the zone though. Now in the far corner, outlet pass is intercepted by Daniger, and his shot hits a skate, deflected wide. Still in the zone. Yep. And now That's able to out. break it out, the Hogs. Eric Life doing a good job of intercepting that. Still on the puck, the Hogs as they'll skate it in. Shot was sailing high, but Parker puts a glove on it. Despite there being no real pressure there, Kale Parker willing to just hold that, get the drop in front of himself, settle things down. Spirit will get a line change here. Warner Johnson, Rob bat, uh, line back on the ice. Daniger and Life remain on the ice. And now the puck to Daniger as he'll go off the boards, but it's held in. And a shot deflected by Gage Robb. Puck in the far corner, picked up by Daniger as he'll send it up the boards for Johnson. Andrews got room to skate it out. Back to center ice. And checked off the puck, able to gain the blue line as Robb fans on it and stolen away oh, and taken get down. On Daniger that one. takes the man down as We'll get a cross-checking penalty. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, <laughs> Air, uh, Nickel Daniger trying to make a defensive play there. Just reached over, got a little piece of the guy to knock him down. What was the call there, did you say? They called cross-checking, which yeah, I thought I mean, maybe would have been like a holding I, call. More, I could see a holding so or maybe an interference, and, and I'm, I'm not even going to really complain about the call. That was probably worth worth making a call on. Yeah, but it would have been a clear us. breakaway yeah. otherwise, but... And I'm not going to fault Daniger for, for making the play, you know? Yeah. So now down a man and down two goals. The Spirit will have to be aggressive on this penalty kill, try to see if they can get some offensive opportunities. Meanwhile, the Hawks do have possession in the Spirit zone as they'll work it around the boards behind the net. And a centering pass in front, stolen away by Carden. And he'll skate it back out. He's got Brackett with him as they crisscross. Now into the corner. Carton is ridden off the puck, and the Hogs will send it back out. Off a skate, no icing, 
and played by Parker up the far boards. But first one there is a Hogs player. He's able to get it on net. Save was made and sent back down by the Spirit as they'll go for a line change. You know, we'd be remiss to think that Carden wasn't thinking score there because both of his goals came on shorties. Now into the clear. Kane, shorthanded. Oh, oh, he can't get a shot off. As we almost had another shorthanded goal there. And good anticipation and interception there by Tyler Kane, but he just worked himself in too low, unable to get a good shot off. Boy, good look at Tyler Kane. Once again. As he's taken down and a call coming, that'll help. Now Kane still on the puck. End of the zone. Got an extra attacker on the ice. Works it into the corner and touched up by the Hogs as we'll get the Just whistle. keeping his feet moving hustle and work by Tyler Kane, not just to interrupt their ability to break it out, but to draw the penalty. I mean, that entire shift, his feet just did not stop. Had the opportunity at the shorty goal and the opportunity to steal the puck and try for another one. So just stellar play again by Tyler Kane on that one. So we'll skate four on four for 32 seconds and the Spirit will get Nickel Daniger back on the ice. And I would assume he'd go, well, you would think he would go directly on the ice, but we'll see. Now shot from the point gets through and save was made. Now held in by John Brown dumps it down low, and the side shot comes from Worth. Save Good was stop made. by the goalie. As we'll get a look at the instant replay here, John Brown able to dump puck down low for Wyatt Worth. And good save there by the Hogs goaltender. Right. Power play unit number one back out on the ice in full. We got too many. Players on the ice. Yes, we do. Oh, we got an empty net. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Five on four now. As we do have an empty net. Back to the point for Lovin. Thought about shooting. Now he'll set in front. Oh, Loose my, go oh just my goodness. Wide. Now it's a six on four as Daniger's back on the ice. And now Carton will take his place. Uh oh, as that is going to go wide. The Hawks taking a shot at the empty net. One minute left in the game. Now Worth on the puck, weaves his way through traffic into the zone. And over for Carden. Back to the point for Brown. Now over for Zahn Warner. Sends it down low. Lovin, his <clears> shot <throat> sails wide. And Hogs will battle on the boards. Carden and Worth there. Now help from Kane as well, but Great job by the Hawks player, just tying things up, killing time. Spirit finally able to come up with it. Precious time remaining now. Now shot in front is deflected high. From the side, the shot is deflected once again. And the Hogs bench loving it. Now shot <clears throat> deflected once again. Well, I'm gonna call that a flurry of activity, Kurt. Uh, Couple of really good shots there. Boys doing a good job of moving the puck around. Uh, Ice Hogs just doing a great job of getting their sticks in the way. The goalie making some great stops. Bodies in shooting lanes, sticks in shooting lanes. Just a uh, solid effort here by the Hogs. You have to take your hat off to them as they uh, are gonna skate away here with the victory. Oh! And they will hand the Spirit just their second loss of the season as the shot comes late. And the Hogs are in a split here in Springfield after dropping the first game 6-2 yesterday. They come back with a solid 4-2 win here today. And Kelly, just a... Uh, <laughs> Ice Hogs celebrating as well they should. They earned that victory. They played really hard. Uh, they're giving the boys a tap. Our boys are not real happy about it. Um, Kel Parker over there throwing some handshakes. Love to see that. So, tough loss. I hate that I called it at the uh, intermission. <laughs> Turns out it was, uh, it was a right call. We go scoreless in the third. Uh, did they score one in the, uh, they scored one in the third period. So. I think so, yep. So both of our goals were shorthanded goals mm. and three of their goals were power play goals. So 
penalties, definitely the story of the game both ways. We'll take a look at our next action. Spirit right back here next weekend, taking on the Kansas City Junior Mavs in a pair of games. First game Saturday the 30th at 545. And then we'll follow up with the game on Sunday at 1045 once again. 515, sorry about that, 515 next Saturday. The Junior Kurt, Mavs. are we here or away? We are here, actually. We are here so for next weekend. Good. Home, cooking for the boys. And we'll bring you that action next weekend. Spirit, take a tough one here. Lose it 4-2. to two. Only their second loss of the season. They'll look to rebound next weekend. And for Kelly Carden, for Nick Lutzke on the camera, Brad Allen, your play-by-play -play engineer, and, of course, Scott Lutzke engineering this whole production. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next weekend.